our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jonathan Dragon Martinez. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mario Bautista. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few years. No championship for the Knicks, but when we fight here, somebody gets to take home a beautiful gold belt. Tonight, let's see how you perform in the world's greatest arena. Great job landing that body kick. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching a film on this It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. This is where he wants to be. Elbow. Oh, big elbow. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, right into Mount. Big ground and pound. Good ground and pound here. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Continue. An elbow! Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Shades of the Godfather on the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Holy somewhere smiling. He's having his way with him here. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Well, he grounded him and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't, very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on it. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. It's work. I'll stand it up. It's 90 work. seconds now to go in the round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Big shots. Oh, nice shot landed from the bottom. Under a minute to go in round one. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Stop those elbows. Stop those elbows. 
Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another ground and pound strike lands. There it is, now he's going to mount. He's got to be careful here. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Working out of the half guard here. That horn sound means we have reached the end of round one. Take a seat, boy. Listen, I need you to stay a little bit more active, a little bit more movement. Keep that head moving. I need you to get behind that jab and start... All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last run. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Do Second it. round on all right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent very fast. Big right here. with the straight left hand. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. You don't have to prove up top you. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defense. job of recognizing that that's something. Oh! They're going at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Just over three minutes now to go. Straight punch there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Already, I will bet you a thousand dollars he sets it up again. You're not taking my money. Oh! Hurt him again. Oh man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively, or this fight's gonna end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a 
sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he's standing after taking that punch. This is a terrible position. 30 seconds to go. Lands with the ground and pound here. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Seconds winding down in round two. So the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here we go, third and final round. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Seminal moments on both sides. And oh! oh, he is hurting for certain. Huge left hand. Oh! Missed with that attempt. Jack's ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, what a kick. Big right hand there. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Massive left hand. Man has his chin been tested early. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that the big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to take down that big You cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Well, no pat on that elbow, and that one assuredly got through. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's gotta be very careful with it as we go forward. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. 
All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes along. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. So he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Oh, big shots from the top. Beautiful reversal on the ground. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Lands with the ground and pound. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Fighters able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. 15 seconds. Now he's going full mount. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Mario Bautista! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.